Hey everyone, before I get into this video, I want to remind you that we're giving away one of these Mythic Edition Satisfy grips for your Nintendo Switch. You can see one of them right here on my Switch, on my Zelda Switch OLED. It looks fantastic. It is meant specifically for the Zelda Switch OLED, but it does look good on other Switch OLEDs as well. To enter, just head down to the link in the pinned comment or down in the description. I wish all of you guys luck. We'll draw the winner at the end of the month. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this news because we get to talk about Nintendo Switch DOS. That's right, too. And look, there's been a lot of stuff sort of moving on the internet talking about Nintendo Switch 2. And it sort of all really started with Nash Weedle. Nash Weedle and a, a another uh, Spanish YouTuber talking about this Nintendo Switch 2 stuff. If you guys remember this tweet, this is the one uh, that said the Switch 2 development kit has arrived in Spain, that a Spanish study already has the kit in face of Nintendo's policy of secrecy. It's a boost to their relations and indicates that we are in the last phases prior to the presentation of the console. But the thing is that this tweet really wasn't the be-all, end-all. There was another YouTuber in Spain that put it out there. Some people talking about, oh, Mercury Steam this, Mercury Steam that, blah, blah, blah. Well, yesterday we actually got a little bit of a confirmation on here from somebody who actually is legitimately in the know and has a track record, and that is Necrophilippe from Nintendo Universe or Universe Nintendo. Translated tweet here and it says, I particularly believe the dev kit for the producer in Spain, but I will not elaborate on this opinion for now. Now, it is his opinion, but it sounds like a believable thing to him. And again, we've heard this might be Mercury Steam and they might be working on a new Metroid, but apparently there might be other developers with dev kits as well, Well, which makes sense. If one developer has dev kits, then many developers have dev kits. So that's not really surprising and not something that I think is that big of an update. I wouldn't have made this video if that's all we had, but then this popped up and uh, look, we're going to go in order of, this is kind of crazy how this spread because this might be the biggest nothing burger there is, but it got conversations rolling that led to us having more information on Switch 2 from legitimate sources. So 4chan, yeah, we don't talk about 4chan that much, but this thing popped up on 4chan right here. And you see that this is from the developer support portal and it has NX2 listed above the Nintendo Switch. Now, if alarm bells are ringing in your head, I understand this stuff is easily fakeable. If you have access to the developer portal, which by the way, you can create an absolutely free developer account to get access to the developer portal, you can go right into the inspect element change things and make it look like this. So it is a pretty easy thing to fake, but it is something that was rolling around on the internet and it got picked up by this person over on Fami Boards, which is a place that I frequent. And yeah, this came up from this guy named Pablo. Apparently NX2 shows it and you see an even closer look. And what's really crazy about this wasn't just that it got picked up by Pablo. It got picked up by, well, I'm sure you can guess it at this point. <sighs> The Reddit, the gaming leaks and rumors Reddit picked it up as well. And this is really what led to it blowing up and starting to appear all over the internet. Now, again, this image is 99.9% .9 likely fake, right? There's no reason to believe this image is real, but there's a reason that people got excited about it. And this dates back all the way to the original Switch and why people got excited about it. And we got an article back here from 2016 explaining exactly why people were so excited about this image. And we got this news right over here from the My Nintendo News back in the day. It says, rumor, Nintendo developer portal updated, gearing up for an NX reveal. And this happened a month before the system was revealed. And where did we get this information from? Well, it wasn't an image from a developer portal. It was from a Twitter user, NWPlayer123, otherwise known as Nikki, put out there information from the back end of Nintendo's developer portal, portal, including an update to the SDK for software development kit related to the NX. And guess what? NW Player 123 is actually one of the most accurate data miners in the world when it comes to Nintendo specifically and does have access to the developer portal. So yeah, like it's not the be all end all, but it's somebody who is highly credible and this developer portal update was about a month before the system came out. So this is why people were like, well, man, yeah. I mean, if it's gonna be unveiled soon, it would make sense if it just popped up in the developer portal. And to follow this up a little bit here, we had Nash Weedle again talking, 
And this is just, look, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I already mentioned my skepticism in Nash Weedle in the past. I'm not going to go back over that. You can watch my prior video. But it seems it's not real, but I have received information of another Spanish developer that confirms the dev kit or non-Spanish developer in this case. So basically saying what, what, what they're quoting here is they actually originally retweeted that image and, and said, see, people doubted me. Here's the proof. And then they're like, ah, maybe that image isn't real. So you take that for what you will. They they, they took the bait on that image from 4chan. Uh, they said another non-Spanish developer that confirms the dev kit. Not really that surprising. If developers in Spain have dev kits, then developers elsewhere have dev kits right they wouldn't be mercury steam might be one of the first people to get dev kits they wouldn't be the only people also uh i believe ubisoft has a, a has a high profile developer in spain that could have a dev kit as well so who really knows i'm just pointing out the evidence as it stands today uh but we're not done yet we have this update over on fami boards coming from old puck who's been very reliable in keeping up with a lot of stuff regarding switch 2 i'm not sure on their exact background, but they seem to be highly respected here. And this is a hidden content that's only available to registered users. So th thankfully for you guys, I am a registered user. Uh, and it says, obviously I can't say anything about this screenshot because I generally don't know one way or another, but I can confirm that redacted and redacted means Nintendo Switch 2. It's, what, it's whatever the name of the system is, has multiple internal code names and that nx2 has at least at one point been one of those so he's just directly saying nx2 regardless of that image nx2 at one point was an internal code name and still may be a code name for this next product this shouldn't surprise anyone switch developer documents refer to the nx device and the redacted Again, this is the new system. API MVN2 is based on the Switch's NVN. Even if the form factor was totally different, a name like NX2 would most likely be inevitable. By way of comparison, the modern Apple Mac OS is based on a product called Next Step, and you'll find the code name NS in Mac code all the time, even stuff made decades after the end of Next Step as a company. So just kind of saying, yeah, the code name NX2, that. That, that, that part has some legitimacy to it, and it could be a real thing. Uh, again, shout out to the family boards in general and old puck. But we're not done because remember that person I said was highly credible and dealt with the entire, you know, giving us information that led to the Switch being unveiled a month later? <sighs> well, we got one more for you from that person, from Nikki, a.k.a. at NWPlayer123. And this is the stuff that's most exciting today. I somehow doubt that the NX2 NDP thing is real, which again, it's really easy to fake. But the whispers have been picking up lately. So I'm still expecting an announcement sooner rather than later. I was assuming September, but it's sounding like it might happen before then. And they're talking about unveiling the platform, which is huge. Now, again, these are opinions. These are not uh, facts, but they're informed opinions. And yes, Nate Drake also confirmed that whispers have been picking up as well. So he's heard that chatter around the system is picking up, but he's not going from that. In fact, he went out of his way to be like, but Nikki never said for sure it's being unveiled. Because he's, 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 he's 2024 all the way, right? He's been saying holiday 2024 for a little bit now, but look, Nikki's over here being like, Hey, I, my opinion based on the whispers I'm hearing is this thing's being unveiled sooner than later. I thought it'd be, uh, September, but it might be sooner. It might be July, it might be August. So we'll see. But, uh, she had more to say, by the way, if it was on the NDP and just talking about the Nintendo, Nintendo developer portal, even a small number of devs, you'd still have been hearing about it from more than one place. So even though a small number of devs would have access to that part of the developer portal, yeah, there would be more chatter about the developer portal in general. So it, it seems like whatever uh, developers have dev kits are doing or using would be something more private than the developer portal itself. It'd just be a separate thing Nintendo gave them with the dev kit for developing purposes. Now, Nikki also said when people were talking about how, you know, the Nintendo Switch, why would they have a Nintendo Switch console this year? They have a good holiday lineup. Why would they jeopardize sales? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, and Nikki just said they still sell switches like hotcakes because it'll be significantly cheaper than next gen. Their whole plan is to continue to support switch, but also launch next gen for people who want more power. 
Now she's speaking in an absolute here when she says their whole plan, not in my opinion their plan is, or I think their plan is, or their plan suggests. This is a their whole plan. So it sounds like Nikki, a well-known insider, a well-known data miner, has direct knowledge that Nintendo's plan is to continue to support and sell Switch even after the system launches because the price differences are going to be really different, which also suggests maybe this next-gen Switch is a $400 device, and if they're dropping things out $300 or less, maybe it'll be a $500 device. That would be absolutely insane, but then if they're still selling Switches at the current price, that would be a significant price difference and a reason to sell both. I don't know. What I am telling you, though, is that they do plan to support Switch, apparently, according to Nikki. And again, she's the one that's suggesting that it could be released this year. Now, again, opinions, but they're informed opinions. They certainly have more information than I do. So what do I make of this whole mess? Well, one thing is very clear, and that is, in, and that is that behind the scenes, we are in the midst of the transition to the next generation system. I mean, it, it's just, it's out there in plain black and white. It's so obvious at this point that we are transitioning to that next platform. And that is exciting in many ways. It's also, it can be sad for some in some ways, you know, you're kind of looking back fondly on the Switch's days. And for others, it doesn't matter because you're not buying a next generation device anytime soon. You're perfectly happy with your Switch and you're going to continue to play the Switch's offerings like Mario Wonder, Mario RPG, the Peach game, the Ouija's Mansion HD, and all of the rest because they're probably going to have even more games after that. So, look, I get it. I understand it. Uh, I don't know when this device is coming. Is it Team 2023? Is it Team 2024? At this point, Team 2023 seems to be getting a little bit more oomph to it than it had a month ago, right? Like, there seems to be more weight behind Team 2023 than there was. I don't know that there's enough weight for me to sway, though. I'm, I'm still... I'm still team 2024. I still think it's coming holiday 2024. Bunch of people having dev kits doesn't mean it's coming anytime soon. That stuff could be, they can get dev kit a year early, two years early. So uh, that to me doesn't mean a whole lot just based on historical data. Uh, but I can't ignore that Nikki's really heavily thinking it's unveiled this year. Originally September, now thinking sooner. And Nikki was pretty spot on with stuff when it came to the reveal of the original Switch. So... We're just going to have to sit back and wait and see what happens. All I know is it's kind of crazy. I did not think I'd have this much Switch 2 stuff to talk about this summer. That's for sure. I thought we'd be talking more about Mario Wonder right now, but instead this is, this is what's in the headlines. You guys are welcome. I'll catch you guys in that next video, which, by the way, is going to be tonight. Uh, for those who don't know, it's my birthday. Uh, it's okay. Don't, you don't have to like go down, down there and yell happy birthday and all that. But I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel and we're going to do a birthday live stream. That's where you guys can come get all your happy birthdays in. Uh, we should be live. Uh, I'm hoping at 8 PM central time. We'll kind of see, I have a family dinner thing going on, but yeah, we're, we're going to be live tonight where you guys can come and do the whole happy birthday thing with me. Thank you guys so much. And I'll catch you in the next video.